Council. This time I will call on Councilmember Jenkins who will lead us in the invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Lord, as we gather this evening, we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to serve. We thank you for our citizens, for our workers, for all of those that make our lives special. We ask that you bless each and every one of us. Guide us. Let our path follow your light. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Will the clerk please call the roll for the establishment? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Here. Councilmember Smith? Councilmember Harris? Present. Mayor Drinker? Uh, here, a quorum is established. Is there a motion to waive the reading of and approve minutes of the March 7th? Mm -hmm. So moved. Yes. Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drinker? Uh, yes, those minutes are approved. And folks, other than the addition of an informal public hearing on the MTEC bid to allow Mr. Heath to address the council briefly before we vote on the consent agenda, are there any other additions or deletions to the agenda? No, sir. With that, I would move that we adopt the agenda as just amended. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Drinker. Yes, the agenda is adopted. We do now have three uh, hearings this evening. The first one is I will open a public hearing to hear public comments regarding a lounge retail liquor class one alcohol license application for Poo's Live Lounge LLC. DBA Poo's Live Lounge is located at 320 South Quintard inside the corporate city limits. Does anyone wish to be heard as to this matter? There appearing to be none, I will close that public hearing. Our second public hearing uh, is also to receive, and I'll open that public hearing now, uh, to uh, hear public comments regarding a special retail, more than 30 days alcohol license for Anderson Country Club, Inc., DBA Anderson Country Club, located at 601 Highland Avenue, inside the corporate city limits. Does anyone wish to be heard as to that issue? There appearing to be none, I will close that public hearing and our last public hearing will be uh, an informal one and I will open it now and it is a, a informal public hearing on the uh, motion to approve it for demolition of 18 substandard structures to MTEC and about $157,500 with funding from CDBG. It's my understanding that Mr. Curtis he wishes to address council. Mr. Chief, if you would, in accordance with our rules, please state your name and address if you would put us on the top of the Curtis Heath, 2122 Carl Avenue. I need some time to, to um, uh, fix on my house. Okay, is it, okay. so this is one of the structures uh, set to be demolished with the intake bid? Yes, sir. Okay, and is, uh, do you own that property? Yes, sir. Okay, you're, you're the record owner of, you, you got a date? Yes, sir. Showing that, okay. Um, okay, so this, there was some question, as I understood it, as to actual ownership. And the reason I ask that is because, you know, you have to actually own it. You know, in record, we pray that officer would have standing to challenge, really. Um, I mean, yes, I, I, um, I own two probate officers. Okay. Have you got a date reflecting that? Um, yes, sir, but I'll have it on. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, again, I understand the position we're in. The, the, the position we're in is we've got to be able to, you know, have it demonstrated to us, you know, with documentary evidence that, that you own the, the property. Um, I, I didn't know I was supposed to grant that. Okay. Um, well, I mean, let me ask you this. These are 18 structures. If yours 
were uh, to give you time, if yours were the last of this list, would that give you enough time? Um, yes, sir. Okay. So, Tam, can you talk to Mr. Heath and, and get that worked out where I will. his, I have his, a his would be the last? So, that, okay. Yes, is that satisfactory to the council? Absolutely. All the rest of those provide Yeah, yeah. Well, well, and then, you know, he's asking. Right, he's asking so, the decision. Right, right. right. There, there is an issue with he has to have a land surveyor come out because the house sits in the middle of a flood plain. We cannot issue permits on it, get the people supply the deed. So he has to get that certificate of elevation, which he brought a letter stating that Bobby Bailey will come out, will do it. But I was told that it would be a couple of weeks before Mr. Bailey could get out to the property. Uh, things are going to be contingent upon what that certificate of elevation in fact would be arranged because the house is in, in a flood plan. Okay. Mr. Bailey, if I was going to ask you that, we've been a long time in the form of contract, given the amount of time that we feel is enough time to get these things taken care of, and then if it's not done by that time, then we move forward. Is that the part of the house? That's what you mean. Yeah. As far as the teacher. Take out from the blue contract, take out from the blue contract. Well, we're going to leave it, go ahead, and go through. Okay, so the, uh, what we will do is based upon what the certificate of elevation. If that, if this can't even happen, then we're not wasting any time about because I'm under a time frame of CPG structures. So this way it can move forward. If you guys go ahead and approve the bids, we'll have a separate arrangement. Is that, that again satisfactory? Is that, I think yeah, yeah. 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 it would be nice. It should be more than sufficient. The time, I guess I got lost. The time on the take Mr. Bailey's out Mr. Bailey will be out within two weeks uh, in order to see if we can get a certificate of elevation for this property. If this is not going to be feasible, if it's going to cost too much or, or whatever based on the value of the property, then we will move ahead with the demolition on it. Okay? If they can get the certificate of elevation to get it out of the floodplain so that we can issue a permit, provided that we have a copy of the deed showing that it is in Mr. Heath's name, then we can go ahead at that time, pull it off, and I will notify CDBG that this is going to be pulled out, that a permit can be issued. But right now, everything is up in the air until Mr. Bailey looks at the property to let us know if this is even going to be able to move forward. Okay, so this is going to be a week. We'll just leave it in the way and blow it. Correct. Would that be a contingency? If it's not done by a certain time. Then the house will all still come down. Come down. Yes. So are you okay? Are you okay with these arrangements? Yes, sir. I'm going to file Okay, I'm going to file it. 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 i am going to file it i am going to file it i am Folks, we have any unfinished business? No, sir. Okay, since we have no unfinished business, let's move on then to the consent agenda. Is there a motion for passage and adoption? So moved. There's a second. Second. Will the clerk please call the vote? Councilmember Jenkins? Yes. Councilmember Roberts? Yes. Councilmember Harris? Yes. Mayor Yes, the consent agenda is adopted. Our only ordinance on the agenda tonight is one amending chapter 3, article 8, the code of ordinance. Establishing the downtown Aniston Arts and Entertainment District. Uh, this is on its first read, as we discussed uh, in the work session. I anticipate entertaining motions both through by title only and for immediate consideration so that we can take up this matter uh, tonight. Uh, okay, so once again, this is the uh, Arts and Entertainment District ordinance. Is there a motion to read by title only? So moved. Is there a second? Second. 
This time I'll now call for a public hearing on the issue of reading by title only. Does anyone wish to be heard as to that issue? There appearing to be none, I will close uh, that public hearing uh, and call for a vote on the issue of reading by title. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So again, this is uh, reading by title only. That this has been discussed at length in uh, two previous work sessions. Appreciate all the work staff has done on this. Uh, great job. Uh, once again, reading by title only is an ordinance amending Chapter 3, Article 8 of the Code of Ordinances Establishing Downtown and Smarts and Entertainment District. Is there a motion for immediate consideration? So moved. Yeah, second. Second. Will the clerk please call the roll on the issue of immediate consideration? Council Member Jenkins? Yes. Council Member Roberts? Yes. Yes, immediate consideration having been granted. Is there a motion for passage in the So moved. There is a second. Second. Council discussion. Here you go. The clerk please call the vote. Councilman Virginia? Yes. Councilman Roberts? Yes. Councilman Harris? Yes. Mayor Yes, the ordinance is passed. Mr. Folks, are there any additional or other matters that may come before the council? No, sir. We do have three public comments scheduled for tonight. Uh, if you're ready, you are first. If you would, uh, please state your name and address for our record and in the court as well. Please look at your comments and three minutes left. Thanks. Thank you. Some houses down. 
and find out uh, where the lineage is, who is in the lineage of the, uh, the ownership of those houses. And maybe we could come up with an idea to save the houses because our community is being uh, diminished house by house, person by person, student by student from the school. And, and if, we, if we don't have ways to bring in tax, tax dollars to do things in our city, then we'll soon, sooner or later, we, well, we'll be a ghost town. It's getting close to that now. And we, we, we really promote things like uh, entertainment district and things like that, but we need to promote uh, neighborhoods. That's, that's the number one thing that I think we need to bring. We need to bring uh, more jobs into the community, not just a coffee shop, uh, not just a, a place you come and drink a beer and smoke a cigarette. But we need to bring some, some viable jobs into this, to this community so that we can save the community. Uh, West Anderson, South Anderson, East Anderson, the area, area of town. And that's what I have to say. Thank you. Okay, let's move on then to council comments. Ms. Harris, let's start with you. I have no comments except to thank everyone for being here tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Um, first and foremost, again, thank everybody for coming out. I really appreciate you. I, I really like seeing different people come out to the council meeting. So thank you. Thank you to the city staff, to the city staff for everything that you're doing for making our city great. Um, also, let's be in prayer for not only our city, but every city. Um, so let's, I'm going to comment on, 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 on a couple of the concerns we have. And Mr. Ray, I'm with you. I, 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 I am. I'm concerned about any any report of police this kind of, this kind of. But I'm one of the ones I believe if we can sit down and talk. And I, I know at one point that I'm going to talk to the police chief, and I'm going to see. Relations with him. I mean, if there are some practices that we're doing, I mean, because I, I never have a problem calling and talking to him, um, but. We're going to look into that because if we don't, I don't, I don't like when I'm randomly stopped because I get nervous as heck, get pulled over every time I get my, my debit card instead of my license, you know, and I, that's a robbery charge. But we do want to look into that. And, and, and to Mr. Jackson, I agree, we are tearing down a lot of houses and, and, and problems. Problem comes when the house is sitting, sitting, we don't know what to do with them. And, and if there's any chance, um, we have certain 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 nonprofit organizations who are supposed to be getting money for the help we have houses. And I'm always trying to direct people to the ones that I hear about. Because what happens, CBG can only go so far. But there is no money that's going on. That's what we need to do. Um, and you mentioned the program in town of We don't have any problem looking around trying to see how they can be applied to our city when we're made aware of them. A lot of the times, and, and, and I, I, I say this to people all the time, a lot of the times people want to come here and let us know all the problems that they've had for the last two weeks or been there. I would like to start seeing more of my constituents reach out to the council members prior to the meeting. That way we can sit down and we can we can have some answers. Because when we leave here and we don't see you for two weeks and we may have gotten an answer, um, but getting you an answer two weeks later is kind of unacceptable. God bless you. Good evening. Uh, Thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, thanks, staff, for their hard work, uh, continuing to make our city look better. Uh, I, too, uh, am always concerned when I hear uh, uh, issues raised with our police department. Uh, I think we have an outstanding police department. Uh, I think they do a good job. Uh, these incidents. Uh, will be looked into. Uh, 
Jackson, I agree with you as well. Uh, I worry about our neighborhoods as well. Um, I think that we need to, uh, uh, that's a grassroots effort. I think it has to happen inside the neighborhood. Uh, I think we can look to, um, quite frankly, I think we can rock, look to the Rocky Hollow Neighborhood Association. It is a no-cost association where the neighbors got tired of the activity that was going on in their neighborhood and banded together and created an association where they keep an eye on each other, they take care of each other. Someone that come out of the house for a couple of days, somebody goes and knocks on the door, you see them out there picking up trash, uh, somebody's doing something wrong, everybody knows about it. Uh, it's a great way to, to address the problem in a neighborhood environment. Uh, it's a model that doesn't cost anything. Uh, it is easy to duplicate, and they are more than willing to show you how they do it. We meet at, around the track at the uh, Anston Heights track. Uh, on nice days and on rainy days, the fire department gives us space in their uh, fire station. Your council members will attend those with you as well, so we hear straight from you at that time what's going on. It's a great formula to, to solve some of those things. Uh, we are doing more than just creating uh, places to get beer and cigarettes. And, uh, uh, these, these places, these establishments that are coming online are employing people. Uh, they're also employing construction uh, to make things happen. They're buying materials in our communities. Uh, and there's more than that going on. Uh, just this past week, the mayor participated in a, a ribbon cutting of manufacturing plant for 100,000 square feet of manufacturing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's pretty significant uh, pieces and parts that are coming online. So it's not just uh, singularly focused on arts and entertainment. Um, it's focused <coughs> across the board. We're trying to find those jobs everywhere. Uh, we'll continue to do that uh, for our citizenry. Uh, we encourage all these new businesses to employ Anston people in their work. So uh, thank you all for your evening, or for your time this evening, and with that, I'll say good night. All right, and I too appreciate everyone for coming out and, and watching online. Appreciate the, the public comments as well. I, I certainly trust the police department and, and staff to, to look into uh, these issues, but we appreciate those issues certainly uh, being raised. Uh, I just want to echo part of what Mr. Jenkins uh, just talked about as far as uh, economic development bringing uh, business into uh, the city. I mean, we are working hard to do that and have been doing so for a uh, while. Our, our sales tax revenue is up. I anticipate that it will continue uh, to go up. But again, you know, if, if we want to make this city all that it can be, it costs money to do that. And that money generated by sales tax. And so and we should all be thankful and appreciative for free business uh, decides to locate uh, in our city. You know, more and more are doing so. And again, we anticipate that, that more and more would. And it is open for business and we want that to continue uh, to be the uh, Really appreciate all the work done in this entertainment district. Uh, by staff, I know that downtown business center to participate in this as well. So thank you all for all your efforts here. This, this is an important piece of the puzzle. And uh, appreciate all the love that's been directed to uh, downtown. And uh, because it needs it and we will continue to do so. With that, I will move that we stand in for German. Second. Will the clerk please call the vote? Councilman Jenkins? Yes. Councilman Robert? Yes. 